you excited, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. We will see you in a while. Here in Harambe, we say twin day and twin day. All these like animals. Bob Jondo, everyone, and good morning. Welcome Woo. to Kilimanjaro Safaris. My name is Tristan, and I will be your safari guide as we go across the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. As we enter the reserve, if you look over here to our left side, we will find the first animal. The first animal is a darker color of antelope called the bongo. The bongos are often referred to be as a ghost of the forest because they're rarely ever seen. And the males and females will have horns on top of their head. And those horns are there so they can get thee back in the brush and hide away from the predators. The black rhinos can weigh up to 3,000 pounds and they can charge up to 35 miles an hour. So they're extremely fast for their size. The mammal is the Nile hippopotamus. The hippopotamus is to be considered one of the most dangerous animals in the world from how extremely territorial they are. They can weigh up to 5,500 pounds and their caps at birth can weigh up to 85 pounds. Looks like there was a hippo on the back right side of the river, but not good in that time. No worries if you didn't see that hippo, because if you look to our left side, there is a group of hippos in the water. And a group of hippos, they are called a float. Hippos during the daytime, they will spend most of their time sleeping underwater. Just past the waterfalls on our left side below us, we will see some beautiful Nile crocodiles. These crocodiles have a bite force of 2,000 pounds per square inch. With that, they can crush them up to their prey. They can grow up to lengths of 20 feet long, and they are known to take down prey two times their size. Here on the reserve, the animals, they have the right of way while the trucks do not, since we're in their home, and of course we do want to respect that, so they can take as little or as long as they want. All up to them. Well, it looks like this animal maybe was just crossed on the road, so looks like we'll be moving pulley pulley or very slowly. We'll see what's around the corner shortly. Down the hill to the right side, you will see a black and white animal called the Hartsman Mountain Zebra. And right on the other side of Mom, there's a baby one eating with her. That baby zebra, his name is Stash, and he is around a month old now. They're even more successful than cheetahs and lions combined. Their average hunting success rate is around 90%, while the lions is around 40%. And how the dogs are so good at hunting, they will just chase their prey down to exhaustion so their prey can't run anymore, and they will always hunt together in a pack. If you look at those animal spotting guides above your heads in the middle, you'll see a picture of the reticulated giraffe. You can tell the difference between the two by their patterns. The side giraffes have more irregular patterns, while the reticulated giraffes have more defined patterns. Either way though, they're the tallest land animals in the world. They can reach up the heights of 18 to 20 feet tall, while their babies at birth can reach up the heights of 6 feet tall. And also look to our left side, look at this giant termite mouth. It must be the same size of a fully grown giraffe. Who knows how many termites are in this mount? It could be millions. Another great view of the Tower of Giraffe over here to our left side. A group of giraffes, they are called a tower. And giraffes can run up to 35 miles an hour in short distances, and in long distance, they can run up to 10 miles an hour. European humans, in upwards of 1 million, then will migrate per year. They can also travel up to 1,000 miles at a time. In addition to that, most of their babies will be born during the nighttime since the darkness will act as cover for them. And wildebeest is an Afrikaans term, and it roughly translates to, you all guessed it, wild beast. It's the right side and that's the left side. Yeah. Look ahead of us. Looks like there's a big tree knocked down. It must be those elephants that knocked down that tree. Down by the watering hole, we will see a large male African elephant. This is a fully grown one. Fully grown, they can weigh up to 14,000 pounds. He weighs just under that. So as you can see, he is really big. The female elephants goodness. can weigh a little above half that, weighing around 7,000 pounds to 8,000 pounds on average. While that is a great view of the elephant over there to the right side, if you look to our left side, there's some mandrills. And look closely, you might find a baby or two. The mandrills are the largest species of monkey in Africa. The males can weigh up to 100 pounds, the females up to 30 pounds, and they're also the same animal that inspired Rafiki from The Lion King. And a group of mandrills, they are called a troop. Well, it looks like the road is closed over here to the right side, which is a little sad because that's a shortcut to get deeper in elephant country, but Akuta uh, Matata, let's just take the longer way around. There's large tusk marks in these right clay pits. And even look over here to the left on the ground, there's some elephant footprints. That is a great sign there are some more elephants in the area. And look to our left, there's a herd of elephants. The elephants will eat the clay from the red clay pits. I know it's a little hard to see the elephants back there. A little bit of a weird angle. 
Let's see if there's any more elements coming up ahead. See some ripples in the water, so we might have some good luck. Well, it looks like the ducks were causing the ripples. Sometimes it is the ducks. They will do that by eating the brine shrimp that's a part of their diets, which contains beta carotene, and that is what turns their skin color pink. Did you know the same thing will happen to us if we eat enough shrimp? We will turn pink. And same thing will happen to us if we eat enough carrots. We will turn orange. It's a little fun experiment to try at home if you like. And if you look closely, there's a baby one as well. His name is Ranger. He's around 10 months old now. That's his mom over there. The mom's name is Teddy. <laughs> You would think so third one near the front of the truck in the distance to the left side. They'll use the tusks to dig these burrows you see over here to the left. Once they're done with them and they're ready to go to sleep during the night time, they'll back themselves into it so they can sleep peacefully, fending off predators with them. So their tusks are like a two in one. Got a group of rhinos there while they crash. We'll stop in just a moment. They have sensitive hearing, so I won't be talking in this area. Over there to the right side, there are some ostrich eggs as we pass by. You can them nine feet tall. As we cross over this third and final bridge, we will be exiting the savannah. These goats in your return, the goats will provide milk, which is sweet and nutritious. For that, it is valuable to the locals around in this area. As you can see, like your name says, dwarf goats, they are really small, but even though that they are really small, they can produce a lot of milk for their size. Of the port of Gorilla Falls Exploration yeah. Trail. Yeah, it is located right outside like of the that. Exodus Gorillas. It's in the name of the trail. You like that those trail dogs? Is a those wild dogs? That you'll be walking the entire time. I did but too. If you take breaks, there's lots of stuff yeah, those are wild dogs. You can sit down, take a treat, whatever you need. To we do. have a kind of wild dog, yeah. If you take your it's time, Stella. walking I am starting to hear the music of the Harambe Village train off in the distance, which sadly means that our journey is coming to an end here shortly. Is that Donald Duck? <laughs> They're waving at you. Whoa, look at those dinosaur bones, Reed. We're in the dinosaur park. Woo. Oh, look at that. Whoa. to go up or down. His name's Chester. Once you're spinning, keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. Who's ready? <laughs> Here we go. There's Grandma and Papa. <laughs> There's Addy. There she is. Oh, get your glasses. 
please make sure you dispose of any open food or drinks before you enter the here. Whoa, you guys look like ants. Yours are upside down, silly. <laughs> ah, there you go. Those are your antennas. The antennas go on top. Let's go. big monkey. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Come on in. We're under the ground. We're in an ant hill. Yeah, we're in an ant hill. Daddy. Are you you going to climb that reed? No. No? <laughs> Look at this hut we're going in. This is the Avatar's house. A hut tut. A hut tut. Uh -huh. Hey, Graham. Hey, Graham. Oh. Hop out and see him. So there's bats in here. Yeah, that's a really big bat. And then I see like two baby ones like, in there. Maybe that's the mama and that's the baby. Two baby ones. Yeah, look at that one right up above us. See him up there, Steve? Yeah, right there? Yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> Mickey, Mickey, Minnie, 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 Minnie,
crazy jump. Look <laughs> at her. If you put your hand. Oh, she jumped right at me. <laughs> she kind of hops instead of runs. That's funny. Ah, she's on my hand. <laughs> Don't let her go anywhere. She's a jumpy little girl, huh? She's gonna get on my feet. She's gonna jump on your feet? She probably will. <laughs> She's so tiny. <okay. laughs> oh, she got into me. Addy, I'll just hop to my hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You gonna hold her, Reed? Yes. I want to feel the water real quick. I want to feel the water. Three, two, one. Ooh, it's so warm. I was warm last night. Yeah. Feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feel it. Ooh, that's so good. Oh, there's a lizard right there. Put it on the outside, Dad. Oh, there he goes. Good job, buddy. Can you go a little deeper? Can Daddy help you swim over there? He's doing the top step so you can learn how long he can hold his breath. Good job. He's gonna. You gonna try to swim over there? Close your mouth. Swim to me. Swim to Daddy. Can't hold the ball for me. Yeah, swim to the ball. Close your mouth. No, you can do it. Look, you gotta be brave. You can do it. Daddy will not let you sink. You can do it. Woohoo! Look at the bottom over here. Look. Look down at my toes. Look at my toes. Look at daddy's toes. Woo! Look at my knees now. Look at my knees. Good job. <laughs> Right here. Good job, buddy. Touch this one. Catch it on the second step. Wow! Good job. You're so big. Okay, get it. Yeah, you're getting taller. Yep. Hold your breath. He's a ring neck. Look at his neck. So I thought cool. you were wearing, wearing a pointer, pointer ring, but that was actually his tail. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him a little water to drink. A little water to drink? Yep. Look, he likes to wrap around your fingers. <laughs> Let him wrap around your fingers. Look. Hey, let me see. Let me see. Let me let. You hold him? Yeah. Hold him. He's nice. Yeah, he's nice. Just try to crawl on your hands. <laughs> Can I hold him? No. <laughs> 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 You both can hold him. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, look, I'm holding it. Then he pulls it. Close it, close it. Close it, close it. Close it. You can't get out. You can leave it open. You can't get out. <laughs> I'm going to start that time. Yeah. I'm going to shut it. Yeah. 
bed what? Oh yeah, put it on Graham's side by her phone. Okay, set it there and hide in the closet. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't hide the sink in the closet. Put her phone down. So she'll come check it. Okay, you two hide in the closet. <laughs> you got Graham. You got her. <laughs> it's so cute, Graham. It's a cute baby. <laughs> <laughs> Read. Uh, Read. Like. Yeah, show mommy next. Show mommy. Show mommy. Say, so, Graham, you want a sleeping buddy? <laughs> Can it sleep in the crib tonight, Graham? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna take it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Why are you laughing? Do you like that snake? Is he a good little friend? No. Graham doesn't want to see him. Nope. Okay. Go show Papa. Look in your cart, you have something for me. Put it in there and tell them to look in your cart. Oh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, turn it around. Poke with this side, Reed. The pokey side. There you go. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. Blow out. <laughs> I'll hold it. No, the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. She said, don't touch the bottom. It's cold. Ha, ha, ha.